Nigerian lawmakers are considering two bills that would regulate speech on the internet and in social media. Supporters of the legislation say it's aimed at eliminating hate speech and the spreading of falsehoods. But opponents say the bills will stifle free expression and make it a crime to criticize public policies or officials. Timothy Obiezu reports from Abuja. I want to deposit. Deposit. I want to vibrate. Vibrate. I want to fundamentally legislate. A coalition of civic and human rights groups in Nigeria demonstrate at the National Assembly where lawmakers have proposed the so-called social media bill and the prohibition of hate speech bill. A group of lawmakers introduced the bills in November with the stated aim of eliminating internet falsehoods and extremist ideologies that may threaten national security and dim public confidence in political office holders. But opponents say the bills are equally capable of stifling free opinions. This two bills will continue to also hamper you know, the right of Nigerians to speak their mind. And something is also very important. And we used to have the judiciary in Nigeria as the last hope of the common man. Currently, even the judiciary has been annexed by the current executive in Nigeria. So the last hope and the last hope of the common man today is the social media. And that's exactly what this, one of these two bills intend to do. About one-third of Nigeria's estimated 113 million Internet users possess social media accounts. And for years, these accounts have been used to speak freely against public policies and officials. If the social media law is passed, offenders would pay about $825 or serve a three-year jail term, while hate speech offenders could meet even stiffer penalties. Citizens say the bills are extreme. I think it's a misguided priority for the government. The government has a lot to bother about right now beyond uh, uh, trying to frustrate people from expressing their opinion. Senator Sabi Abdullahi is in favor of the bills. If you meet those who have lost their loved ones arising from violence due to ethnicity or religious intolerance and the like, I don't think they will be smiling with you when you tell them hate speech is nonsense. In recent months, the Nigerian government has been accused by rights groups like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International of increasing restrictions on civic freedom. Martin Obono is a human rights lawyer. The constitution under section 4 guarantees you freedoms. So there are fundamental freedoms within which the constitution guarantees everybody in Nigeria. So you have freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, um, freedom of association, and the rest. And now these are all these freedoms. All these freedoms that actually make up what is called civic space. Now, if anything affects these freedoms, it automatically means that you're limiting it. The bills made first and second reading of the Senate only weeks after they were proposed, a rare event in Nigeria's legislative process where many bills take months or even years. Critics accuse legislators of fast-tracking the process to serve their own interests. For now, the bills are suspended until a public hearing is conducted next year. In the meantime, Opponents will continue to demand for bills be eliminated. Timothy Yobiezu for VOA News, Abuja.